Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today I'm going to be showing you some of my 2016 favourites as some of you guys wanted to see a video on that. So here it is. I don't know if I discovered all of these products in this year, but I definitely have been loving these throughout the years. I haven't seen Sky in ages. Look at her. She's getting so fat. She eats so much. Look at her. She don't like the camera. Mm. I love this one. So the first product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. I don't know if they released this this year, but they have released new shades, so I'm really happy about that. This is the shade F400, which I used to use, but now I use the shade 11, and that colour is like my perfect colour, so um, I actually forgot to film a video on the shade, so I, I will have that soon. I probably have like a cat hair on my face right now. Okay. Oh well, there's one on my mouth. But yeah, I've absolutely been loving this, not only because it's so affordable, it's around £12, it's a good coverage, but it still looks natural, and it just looks really, really good on the skin, and I'm just really happy that they extended their shade range. I do think they should add a bit more, like, colours, I would say, to their shade range, but... It's better than just having five. By the way, guys, I do have a review on this video. If you haven't seen that yet, it will be in the info box. Now on to concealer. I have two of them, and they're both drugstore, actually. Um, I've been using the LA Girl Sky. First, oh gosh, she's making so much noise. I just don't even know how impossible it is to film in this house. I struggle. But anyways, as I was saying, I have been using the LA Girl one for so long, and it's definitely a really good drugstore concealer but anyways as I was saying uh, I do really love this LA girl one a lot of you do ask me uh, what is a good drugstore concealer and I definitely would say the LA girl one because there's so so many colors there's literally a shade for everyone it's so affordable and the formula of it is so good it does really brighten and you do get a good coverage out of it it's just a really really good drugstore concealer and I absolutely love it and then I discovered the NYX HD concealer again I don't know if they released this this year but I I don't know I highly doubt it but I do really love this it's a really good consistency good coverage I do wish they had a bit more shades and maybe in the future they will but it's just an overall good formula it just really just covers really this is a bit too dark for me so I do like to mix the LA girl one and the NYX one together to get a good you know good shade but I absolutely love this the next product that I'm extremely happy about discovering this year is the Kat Von D loose setting powder I really 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 do love this um, setting powder and you get such a big tub for 20 quid it's so like it's so, to me that's such a good deal and this is my first ever um, Kat Von D product and I'm so happy about it it just really brightens the under eye and it's such a concealer in place and I would say even just for like an all over powder if you want to lightly dust some on your skin you could definitely do that as well I probably wouldn't because it'll probably, probably make me look very ashy but under the eyes it just really brightens and sets your concealer in place and I would definitely say this is a sh uh, like a powder for every skin tone out there so definitely one to have in your kit if you're a freelance makeup artist. The next product is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep and oh my god I've used this so much. So this product actually comes in a dome shape and it's already flat and I know I'll probably hit pan on this soon, I just use it all the time, it's just such a nice warm colour that bronzes up your, your skin and it makes your skin look so 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 soft, like that's the thing I absolutely love about this bronzer is that it just makes your skin look really really nice and soft. So yeah, if you do like bronzers and you do like to give a bit of warmth to your skin, definitely try the MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes, they're just really 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 good. So. Yeah, absolutely love this. Now onto highlighters, I do have two, and one's high-end, one's drugstore. The high-end one is obviously the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I've used this all year. Like, I don't even remember when I got it. I've used it all year, and it hasn't even dipped a bit. There's probably a little dent, but there's so much product in this this thing. Obviously, when I bought it, I had never spent £30 on a highlighter, so my heart did break a little bit at that point in time. But I don't regret buying this at all. I just love this highlighter so much. It just gives you a nice, strong, you know, vibrant glow, and it's just so, so nice and amazing quality. The packaging is amazing, and I... I just need, to, this needed to be in this video, okay, I just love it so much. And then the next one is the Sleek um, Highlighting Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. Since I got this palette, I, I, was just, I just love reaching for it just to like go on top of other highlighters or even if I want a more subtle glow for every day, I just use this one. It's just such a pretty highlighting palette and you get a good choice and it's just very affordable. 
packaging so pretty and I love it. My two favourite ones are Sphinx and Sphinx and Dynasty. Yeah, I just love this palette. So now onto lips. I do have a few in front of me right here, but I'm just going to go on and talk about the most favourite one and the one I've been so obsessed about. And it's the Kylie Jenner lip kit. This is in my bag all the time. I just really, really love this. I can't express how much I love this. And it's not even about, like, the quality is amazing, but most of it is just the shade. The shade is just that perfect warm tone brown, and I'm all about that colour. Uh, I would, the only negative thing I would say about this is that because it's in my bag, the lid always comes off the lip liner, and it's just actually really annoying. Um, but the lip liner is the softest lip liner I've ever tried in my life, like, it's so good. No matter what, if you do look into my bag, this will be in there, and I can't, brave about this enough and I cannot do this video without including the Huda Beauty liquid matte this has been a huge hype this year since it came out and um such a good product like it's so comfortable to wear doesn't dry out the lips it just makes your lip look it just makes your lips look so plump and hydrated I don't know why even though it's liquid matte and I just really love the color I got Spice Girl by the way and seriously it's such a good product it's it's a high-end product it is 18 pounds but so worth the money and when i can i'll probably get some more colors in this range even my mum loves it like we went to harris the other day and she tried on um material girl which i do have to get for her she that color looks so good on her and she really likes the formula as well so my mum doesn't like matte stuff anyway so for her to like a matte product is so good so definitely a thumbs up for this one next is another liquid lipstick i just love liquid lipsticks if you guys don't know i just love matte lips i'm more of a matte girl rather than a glossy for the lips so the next one is the nyx uh, lip lingerie in and i've got the shade teddy yeah so this is the shade teddy i don't know why i forgot the shade then but again i was so surprised about this like it's really really comfy to wear and it, you get good color payoff and it lasts really long on the lips so I was super surprised about this. But yeah, another liquid lipstick that I've been loving. And then now I've got two lip liners that are actually the same, um, from the same brand. These are the LA Girl Endless Lip Pencils and oh, I've got the shade Natural and um, True Brown. And these lip liners are so good. They're such good quality and they're like, what, £2? They're so good. Like, if you haven't tried these out, definitely try it out. This is the True Brown one that I wore in my one of my previous videos and so many of you... Um, asked what I was wearing on my lips and this was mostly what was on my lips and I just had a light lipstick in the center it's really good like the colors good it's just a nice true chocolatey brown so I definitely love this and natural is more of like a mauvey nude color but they're just both these are like the lip liners I reach for for like on a, on a daily base for more natural look I would say so if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while now you probably know that I do like to do some makeover videos on my friends and family and um I always, always use this eyeliner on them and even on myself and it's the Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Gel Eyeliners. I really, really love these. There's such a controversy between it. Like I've read reviews where some people absolutely hate it and then some love it. But for me, it's a definite love. I've got one in black ink and then the other one is Ivy Shimmer Ink. And this is just like a forest shimmer green. I just love this so much and I need to do a tutorial with this eyeliner because I haven't even incorporated it in a video yet which I'm so surprised about um but black ink like this one is going down quick I always use this on other people and on myself as well and it's just so easy to control especially with the Bobbi Brown ultra uh, fine eyeliner brush and if you're doing like makeup on other people I would definitely recommend this eyeliner because you have such good control over it and you rarely would mess up um so yeah definitely recommend these and I've been loving them this year <coughs> my voice is cracking I don't know what like every time I do videos where I talk a lot my voice starts to crack I can't speak and I can't breathe I don't know what's wrong with me anyways the next product is obvious like this mascara is my life like seriously lash sensational by Maybelline you guys know I absolutely love this steez steez <coughs> I really 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 recommend this mascara too anyone if you want nice fluttery lashes and just a good lift to your eyelashes i would definitely recommend this um mascara and it's affordable too so you can't even get better than that so yeah and then the final makeup product that has to be in this video and i actually don't know if this was released this year but i will include it in this video anyway so um it's the morphe 35o palette 
let's just take a second to just stare at it I really love this palette like I just love it so so much you've got so many colors to choose from and their eyeshadows are such such good quality and the price is decent for how much product you get so these and um, you guys know I absolutely love my 35O palette and I cannot rave about it enough it's just such a good palette very affordable for how much you get and it's really good quality it's really good quality so yeah And then the last item is really random but I did want to share it with you guys. I don't know if I've talked about this previously or if I've showed you guys before, probably did in my on my snapchat but um, it's a uh, planner and this planner is so good, like seriously. If you're a student as well, definitely get this planner, it's from Paper Chase, it was like £9 and it's like a leather feel and it feels such good quality. So the reason why I say it's good for students is because you have like a timetable slot in here, so for each term you can enter your timetable, but because mine changes a lot, I didn't do it like this year, like every week it changes so it was a bit of a hassle for me to do that and I still, I could probably do it on here but I'm just being lazy. I might do it for next time actually. So I'm always logging into my um, to my um, timetable online to see what rooms I'm in and stuff like that. So if I had it all in my my um, planner, it would be really helpful actually. But I just really like to uh, use this for like videos to film um, and just like planning, like putting my work schedule on here, like my work times and what days I have really important things to do and reminders really. So I just use this all the time. This is how it comes out it is and I like the fact that you get a good amount of space for each day and I really like the fact as well that it's flimsy it's not hard so it does fit nicely into my bag and it's not it's not stiff or anything so yeah I definitely recommend this if you're just looking for a good planner super simple but it's amazing I just really love this it's my, it's my little baby <laughs> So yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to write in the comments what you've been loving this year. And this is going to be my last video of the year, which sounds so weird to say. Um, I did say that I'm going to post a video every single day this week, which I did, but I'm not going to be posting Saturday, Sunday because I work. And also with New Year, like, I just know I'm not going to be able to post a video for you guys this weekend. So the next video will be on Monday. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for you guys being on this journey with me throughout this year. Like, I cannot believe that we've hit, like, 20,000 subscribers on this channel. Like, that's a huge milestone for me. And just being able, like, I... I chat to so many of you guys literally on snapchat I've made so many more new friends with like through YouTube and YouTube has definitely opened a lot of doors for me this year so I'm so so grateful and thankful for all of it really and uh, to be honest it's just all because of you guys so thank you so much and thank you so much for being with me throughout this year seriously seeing all your um, comments and all your likes and how you guys always are so supportive just makes me want to continue filming these videos and putting all the effort that I do into these videos so yeah thank you so much guys I love you so much I wish you all a happy happy new year and I will see you next year which sounds very weird still bye guys and yeah so I'll just jump straight into this video just to let you guys know that this foundation does